Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought I'd show you how to make Rapunzel. She's a 2D doll. She does have hair at the back of her head, which is a crafty ladybug technique. Please check out her channel if you haven't done so. Fabulous designs up there. Um, and she, unlike some of the 2D dolls, she stands up on a standing skirt. It is not a detachable skirt. It's all in one, but... Um, yeah, she can stand up. So the colours you're going to need, you're going to need about, um, let me see, 41 um, bands for her hair and 30 for her braid. Skin tone bands, you're going to need about 37. For her little bodice in the darker purple, you're going to need 24. For the little white bits of her sleeve and, and around her bodice here, you're going to need about 8 for the main skirt and the little puffy sleeves here in the lilac that I have, you're going to need 73. And you're going to need 32 bands in total for the uh, base here, but I have not counted exactly for the colours, so it's up to you uh, what colour you do that. You're also going to need 4mm by 7mm uh, mini pony beads for the eyes. If you don't have those, you can use black bands, it works just as well. You're going to need a couple of um, green bands for the leaves and a couple of different pastel colour for her hair or whatever colour you want for her, the flowers in her hair, that's completely up to you. So let's get started. We're going to have a single loom. It's going to be in the offset configuration, which means columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two. Arrow is facing towards us or the open part of the peg is facing towards us. We're going to be double banding. Double banding means you take two bands and you place them across the pegs together as if they were a single band. So we'll start by doing her hair. And if you find that they get twisted, just run your hook around the inside of the band and it just straightens that out for you. I'm using a yellow limited it's a, it's a limited edition yellow frost by Rainbow Loom for the for the blonde hair lately. I'm really quite liking it. So we pop these on here. I'm going to take two for the back of the neck. Take a single, wrap it round once and twice and pop it here as your end cap. All right. Now you're going to take a single and stretch it across these three pegs as, an, as a crossover band and the same down the bottom here. Now before actually we, we do this, let's just lift it up one. You're going to, I've already done this, but you're going to chain 15 pair of bands together. Okay, starting with a little end cap here, chain 15 together. When you've done that, you're going to pop this onto the pair of bands here on the right, like that. Okay, we'll decorate it with the flowers and everything after the fact. Let's move that crossover band back, like that. We are going to do uh, a little bit of hair extension, okay? But what we're going to do first is loop up a couple of the bands so dig down past your end cap and grab those two bottom bands and loop up you're going to loop the sides so grab the next two from here and loop to one side and the next two and loop to that side and then loop up twice in the middle now we are going to loop up further here but I just need to have access to my crossover bands first so from here, what we're going to do, push your hook through. Now I'm going through this spot here because I want her braid to be quite low. Okay, so I'm going to go through here and grab another two bands like that. Okay, I'm going to take, I'm actually using the wrong hook for this. I need a hook with a bigger hook. So let's, let's do that again. Push my hook through. Grab two bands and pull back. 
and pop on the end of my hook like that. Take another two and you're going to pull through. Okay. Now at this stage, what we're going to do, don't reclaim. We're going to grab the crossover band and put it on our hook and then reclaim. Okay. Another two. Put them on the end of your hook and draw through. Again, don't reclaim. What we're going to do now is grab the next crossover band, put it on your hook, and now put those other two back on. Two more bands on the end of your hook. Draw through, reclaim, and place on this peg here at the top of your first column. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. Now you have to be careful because we're going through here, but you don't want to get that uh, braid tangled. So draw through, okay, and reclaim. Take another two, draw through. You're going to grab that first crossover band and attach. Another two, draw through. Grab the next crossover band. Need another two. Draw through. And make sure that sits this side. We're going to pop that here and move that over so that it sits below. You still want access to this. Okay, so now we're going to dig down and grab those two bottom bands here and loop up, and the same on this side and loop up like that. Push all of this down. Okay, turn my phone off, that was a bit annoying, wasn't it? Made me jump out of my skin. All right, so push everything down. Now we're going to use our skin tone bands. Skip from the first peg to the second and go from the second peg to the third. You're going to do her jawline, two from the centre to the right. Again, push down so that you've got room. Gets a bit crowded here. <laughs> push down. Two for the neck. We're going to do a single band stretched across in the shape of a triangle for the um, crossover of the face. This one we're going to take is we're going to twist it once, twice, and three times and place across for the eyes. Now I have already threaded my eyes onto a skin tone band. I'm using beads. You can use bands, it really doesn't matter. Um, thread them with a metal threader, you can thread with a piece of floss, a, a, a hook, whatever you have. Pop those either side and then what we're going to do is just take that top part of the band and lift it up and over this peg here. All right. The next thing that's important is to link the back of the head in with the face. So grab the yellow end cap that we had here and pull that on top of the skin tone band that we're using for the neck. All right, let's keep going. We're going to do two and two. These are skin tone bands and two. Now we're going to do the dark purple for her bodice. So we're going to move down one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. We're going to put a single crossover band across here, like that. Just a single band just stretched across. For this next one here, we're going to take a single band and stretch it and figure eight and then put that across. That is a tight band, it draws it in. I'm using lilac to the bottom of the loom now. 
Okay, so I'm just going to place my first three pair like that. I'm going to take my next dark purple and do my next crossover band like that. Again, it's tight, it's looped on itself. I'm also going to be using purple, dark purple, to go from here to here and from here to here, okay, to give the skirt a bit of a, I don't know, um, definition, I guess. Take a single band, wrap it once and twice and pop that in the middle here, just so it doesn't look so, so much like a boring old skirt. White bands, single white band, single white band. Take a single band, wrap it once and twice, and pop here. All right. So let's continue with our lilac bands down to the bottom of our loom. And for those wondering, yes, I do have um, princes on my radar to do as well. I'm hoping to do Paddington and Pooh Bear after these princesses, and then we will do some princes. At this point, we're going to take two and go to the right, and two and go to the left. Push down, make sure everything's pushed down. Single band, wrap it around your hook once and twice. That's going to be our little end cap here. And then we're going to stretch them across as crossover bands. So we've got to do one here, one here, one here, and one here. Arms. Single skin tone band, wrap it once and twice. You're going to slide onto three pair, not all at the same time. <laughs> so here's our first pair. Here's our second pair. Here's our third pair. Now we're going to slide these onto a pair of lilac. Like that. Now do not reclaim. What we're going to do is take this off our hook and take a pair of lilac. Wrap them around our hook once and twice. Reclaim. And slide those lilac wrapped bands on like that. Then we're going to push it down our hook a little bit, take another two lilac, wrap once and twice, reclaim and put those wrapped bands onto those other two, like that. You're going to take a pair of white and slide on. And that's going to be the little puffy cuff of our sleeve and we'll pop that here, okay? Let's do the same for the other side. Single band, wrap once and twice. We'll slide onto a pair of skin tone. Another pair of skin tone. One more pair of skin tone. Now we slide onto a pair of lilac. And if you remember, we take this off our hook pair of lilac, wrap once and twice, reclaim our bands, move those over like that, pretty it up if you need to, push down your hook, another pair of lilac, one and two, reclaim, move the wrapped bands over and we're going to loop onto another pair of white okay and that goes on this arm like that okay now we do have a bit of a skirt extension to do let's dig down first and grab these two top lilac bands and loop down and then we'll do the next top and loop down I like to do one on each side and the middle. 
like this. Now we're going to do the extension. It's always a bit tricky doing these. You can do layers, but I do find layers get people a little bit more confused. So this way I've sort of found is easier. You're going through this portion here to start with, with a pair of bands and reclaiming. And you're going to thread another pair onto that like this. Now what we're doing is basically making a chain up to here but you want to add in your crossover bands so it's not just a loose chain that's not attached to anything. So without reclaiming you're going to grab your first crossover band and put it on your hook and then reclaim and then take your next two bands for your chain and loop in. Don't reclaim, grab your next chain uh, crossover band and reclaim two bands pull through again don't reclaim you've got to grab the next crossover band don't worry if it comes off the top bit it doesn't matter we can put that back grab your next pair I tend to put my thumb on the peg that I'm working on there's one more crossover band to do grab my next pair oops throw it across the room <laughs> Stay on my finger. Okay, so there's my next pair. Drag through, and this is going to sit on the peg where we have the, the lilac and the purple meeting. So just here. Now you can go back and have a look at your crossover. So we know that this one needs to be above here, this one needs to be above here. So you just fix your crossover bands up a bit. That one's down here, this one's down here and push things down. Let's do the other side. Two going through here and reclaim. Your first two that are going to grab the crossover band. Don't reclaim. Grab your crossover band. Now reclaim. Let's take our next two bands. Pull through. Don't reclaim. Grab the next crossover. Now you reclaim, you grab your next two bands, pull through, grab your next crossover, again I'm putting my hook, my thumb on the peg that I don't want everything to fly off from. Now I reclaimed and I shouldn't have so I'm going to take those two back. Grab that last crossover and now reclaim. Here's my last two pair of bands. Draw through. And again, I'm going to place them where the two colours meet. Check that my crossovers are all good. They are. That's wonderful. Let's start looping up. Now that can take a bit of practice. It can be a bit of a fiddle factor if you prefer to do the layers then that's fine too. Now at this stage I like to lift these two off, hold them out to the side, loop up and then put those two back. It's just how it, I feel it looks better. You don't have to do it but as I said I personally prefer doing it that way because I think it uh, the continuity of the skirt flows. Hold out to the side loop up and put back. Now let's do the centre. One, two and three. Now if you remember you have this end cap here. We need to go down the, past the end cap and grab that first purple band, loop it to the right, a uh, left. Go back down, find the next purple band. It's the little solo band all by himself. And you have to be careful because you don't want to grab the bands that are part of the end cap. Loop to the side. Do not forget to loop this one. If you do, the whole thing will fall apart and you will not be happy with me. Let's loop the side ones up to the shoulders. One, two, three. One, Oops, only got one band. Let's get both. Two and three. We'll do the centre up to this 
end cap and then we're going to do the same go down find that single white band and loop it to its corresponding side and then do the same for the other side now we're going to loop the arms to the neck it's two skin tone bands that you're looking for and now we have to do the center of the chest up to the neck don't forget that one again it will all fall apart dig down find the neck bands and loop those up we're going for the top two skin tone of the chin or the face loop those to their corresponding side do the same for the next ones and if you just do one at a time that's fine too it doesn't matter better safe than sorry so there's the other one we've got two more to find down here to loop up and up now here we've got the two skin tone make sure you're just grabbing the skin tone you don't want to grab yellow as well and I can feel that I'm grabbing yellow <laughs> there we go loop those up and on this side just as we did with the skirt we're going to take two off like that hold out to the side loop up these bottom two yellow and replace do that on this side as well hold them out to the side dig down from the bottom two loop up and replace the sides and the middle and miscalculated for the yellow bands we need another two to tie off so dig down push your hook all the way out grab bring to the back tie off in a slip knot let's ease her off the loom I use the back of a metal hook you can use your hook um, I just would be very very careful about just ripping her off the loom you have a lot of bands on some of these pegs and if you just rip you are very likely to um, break bands and you will not be happy Ease her off the loom, gently does it, I'm especially careful where I know that there are multiple bands and when I know it's just two I'm happy to just take those off like that. Stretch her into shape. I usually do the arms up and down, up and down. It just gives them a bit of... So here's her. Now, if you want this braid to come out the bottom here, if you don't like it sort of coming out here, all you do, go through the, the um, extension band that we made here. Grab onto the back of the, uh, the end of the braid and pull it through like this and I think that looks much better and it just keeps it to the side like that okay tie off bands you're going to poke your hook up the back side of her hair between between the head and the hair you've got this space that you can hide loads of things behind pull through grab the other end just hide them under there there we go like that you might want to just pull these little bits out so that they're showing a little better now for her the, the uh, flowers in her hair I'm just going to go through a couple I've got my green bands and I've just picked a couple of different colored bands here so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a a coloured band, wrap it around my hook once, 
twice and three times slide onto a green band now bear in mind I've gone through where I want to add this go through where I'm adding it and I'm just going to tie a knot like that okay again find a spot that you're going to be happy with the band one two three slide onto your green band and we're tying a knot I just tie a single knot <laughs> says she like so we just go down Yeah. One, two, three. And you can put as many or as few of these in as you like. This is really completely up to you on uh, how many of these you want to do. One, two, three. Color choice of these is up to you as well. Do another one here. One, two, three. One at the back of her hair here. One, two, three. Like so. Now, she's not going to stand up, and we want her to. So we need to add a little extra something to her and that's the base of her skirt I'm going to use lilac and I'm going to use white to do that and I'm going to start off with lilac and then finish with a round in white okay how we're going to do this if you're unfamiliar with crocheting you're now going to learn <laughs> at the bottom here and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see okay you have we have four four bands we've got this one band here one band here, one band here, and one band here, okay? Each of these bands we're gonna call stitches, and you've got these two stitches, this side, and and the loops, you see? Two little loops this side, because we double banded, and two little loops this side. This is gonna be stitch one, okay? This is gonna be stitch two, stitch three, stitch four, stitch five is the two at the back, six seven and eight all right so let's go through the first two loops of this first band on the right her head is at the bottom and it's her back facing us and we're going to use lilac bands we're going to do a slip knot so take two bands we're double banding two bands pull it through that first stitch reclaim one over the other in a slip knot you're just not pulling it tight. You're going to go back through that first stitch and you're going to do it again. Pull another two bands through and reclaim one over the other. So you've now got two slip knots on in that one little space and you're going to join them together by going one over the other like that. We're going to do the same thing here. Okay, we're going to go through the second st stitch Here's our first slip knot. We're going to join it to this one here, like that. And then we're going to back through that second stitch with another pair of bands, and we'll do another slip knot. So we've now got two slip knots in there, and we'll join it to the rest of them, 
let's do two in here. We're going to do this all the way around till we get to the beginning again. There's our first, join them up. Let's do our second. Join them up. Here's our fourth stitch. We're going to do two in here. Number one, join it. Let's go back and do another one. And join it. So now we're going to flip her around. Okay, this is what we've made. We've made this bit here. And here are our four stitches at the front. So we're going to go through this first stitch here. All right, and we're going to do two slip knots in this one. Here's our first slip knot. One, join it to that other one. Let's go back through that other one, that stitch. This will be stitch number five. Here's our second slip knot. One over the other and join. Here's our next stitch. This is stitch number six. Do our second slip knot in there. These are actually called single crochets. So you're crocheting with bands. So if you're interested in doing any of the little Armagurumi loomless things, you kind of have the handle on a stitch already. And this is our fourth stitch here. It's a bit difficult to see. Or eighth stitch, fourth from this side. <laughs> There's our first single crochet or our first slip knot. Let's go back and do a second one in there. Now we're at the beginning again, over here. If you have a look, there's the beginning. And here, as you can see, we've got these little teardrop shapes that we made. Again, we're just going through the front two. We're not going to go through all four. We're just going to go through the first two. And this time, we're going to use white. And also this time, unlike the other time, we're still going to use two bands, but we're only doing one slip knot in each stitch this time. So there's our first slip knot. Join it into the other. Now we, we don't do another one in that one. We go to the next stitch. And again, you're just working in the front two loops. These two here. So again, we're doing two, but this time white bands. Do your little slip knot. Join it all together. Move to the third stitch. And just move your way around the base of the skirt just doing the two stitches that are closest to you there. Oops, make sure you get both of those loops.
nearly at the end. And now we're at the beginning again. We're going to go through the first white, take a single white band, draw it through all of the loops, and now we do a slip knot and we're going to do it tight to join it all together. Okay, and you can sort of flip this around the ins inside if you just stretch it into shape a little bit. With this tie off band, you're going to go through some of the loops at the bottom here and just gently pull that through so that it's sort of hidden but this is the base for Rapunzel's skirt and there you go she can stand up beautifully sometimes she might be a bit hair heavy she's got quite a lot of hair there she is standing up there's Rapunzel I hope you enjoy making her and uh, I look forward to seeing them take care bye bye